Triple M Grilty. Let's talk to the bloke who, well, he knows everything about music. He was the lead singer of one of my all-time favourite Australian bands, Grinspoon, and the second best thing to come out of Warhope, number one being Timbertown, of course, and Phil Jamison. <laughs> number hey, three with the Pacific Good Highway. Morning, team. How hey, are Phil. you, brother? Uh, I'm okay. I survived. Uh, the third season of The Voice, it's back. We are all waited so excitedly to watch it. So, yes, I, I managed to watch it last night. I got through all of it. So I'm very excited <laughs> to have a chat with you about it tonight. Righto, Sorry. Gemma. I thought it was a little flat last night. What do you think? Uh, I thought the, the the opening, you know, how they all sing together. The judges, you had Will I Am, you had, you know, you had your Ricky, you had your you had your Joel, and there might have been Kylie's there. Look, the only thing I've got to say about that opening number, I think it was Hall of Fame they sung. Yeah. Um, is that Kylie Minogue telling people how to sing live is a little like me coaching the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Like it's a good idea, <laughs> but we've really got no experience in it whatsoever. So let's have a quick um, listen to that bit of Kylie singing that song. Jamo, was that was it lip synced or that was live, wasn't it? Oh, I'm pretty sure that was uh, mimed, but look, I'm not an expert, but it didn't seem to be that live. Also, you can notice that the crowd noise on that sh- on that track was so turned up. But I thought that, like, overall, um, it might have been a bit flat, but I thought as far as TV goes, it was a pretty slick production by the oh, by yeah. the Channel Niners. I thought they did a pretty good job. Oh, yeah. Now, what about, uh, who are your favourites, Gemma? Well, I did like, obviously, I like a guy that sings hard rock. So Led Zeppelin, uh, Frank from Sydney, yeah. he sang Immigrant Song, uh, and he was I was the first for being first. There's nothing bad about Led Zeppelin. So really, I thought he did a great job, and um, I liked him a lot. Like, Let's have I a quick like listen to Frank stuff. doing yeah. the Immigrant Song. Here. Background there, all the judges turning around just off that opening scream. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. He ended up with Team Joel, so I think they will work well together. Being Joel's a bit of a rocker, um, for want of a better term. Yep. Now, the other one we talked about this morning was Lionel Cole. Now, Lionel come on and he basically said, you know, yeah, I'm the nephew of Nat, the great Nat King Cole, but you know what? I want to, I want to leave. That behind. I, 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 want to be, I don't want to be known or associated with the great Nat King Cole. So, of course, Gemma, what song did he do? Unforgettable. <laughs> Unforgettable. <laughs> and badly. That's what you are. You seem to really carry on a fair bit about, you know, being related. So Yeah, for yeah. someone who wants to distance himself. Unforgettable. Nice voice, though. It's Chinatown karaoke. That is shocking. Well, <laughs> I think, I think what will happen, he'll probably feature fairly heavily in the television show just because he's got such a great backstory. Remember, this isn't really a singing competition. It's a, it's a TV show and it's for reality TV. So um, I think he'll probably feature fairly heavily because of just the whole story behind him. Now, mate, talking about talent, Matt the Hat, the guy who came out and do, did Billy Joel's New York State of Mind. What do you think about him, Gemma? Oh, <laughs> I thought he was really good, and then I started following him on Twitter, you know, because I follow all the contestants. Oh, you're one of those, are you? Oh, Gemma. You know, I was you know, just checking it out, and he started his own hashtag, Matt the Hat, and he started <laughs> retweeting all the people that loved him, and I was like, oh, look, buddy. Uh, look, I think he's really talented and probably a smoky to win, but um, he just annoyed me a little bit. <laughs> okay, let's hear a little bit of Matt the Hat. I'm in a New York state of mind. That's your type of music, isn't it, Gussie, yeah, on uh, Smooth in the Car? That's that, what you're listening to, isn't that it? Is my, Phil, being a proper rocker who actually did it live and, you know, you've been so successful, can you cop these sort of shows? Take away the simple fact you know it's a bit of, it's just for TV. Can you actually cop them? Oh, look, I think, you know, there, there, there's been evidence of singers coming out of these competitions, not necessarily The Voice, but, you know, Matt Corby has done really well for himself, and he was a, a contestant a long time ago, and Guy Sebastian's has done a great thing as well. So it obviously does unearth talent. I think the contestants somehow get a bit of a raw deal at the end of it all, which is the only real sad part, I think. Um, they get a Ford Kluger and $100,000 and see you later, mate. 
Yeah. Well, that's that's what yeah. the winner gets, yeah. um, but unfortunately, the the guys that come second, third, fourth, and fifth are maybe end up on cruise ships. Look, uh, <laughs> I, 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 I reckon, I, I reckon anyone that you know, like I think it's good singing live, and you know, I'd want it to be a lover, not a hater. So, yeah. all the best to contestants. But um, yeah, I I don't want to watch it again tonight. Please don't make me. Now, Jeno, <laughs> talking about talking about real talent and real hard rocking blokes. Uh, one of the be- biggest bands in the world at the moment, the Arctic Monkeys, tomorrow night, Sydney Entertainment. Center. Mate, that'll be huge. Oh, that is going to be so much fun. That, this is the end of their world tour on that incredible record, the AM record. Um, and they have toured since that came out. I believe it was like January last year. I'm not exactly sure of the date. So they've been touring for 18 months solid. So they'll be looking to probably, uh, after their show tomorrow night, have a drink and put their feet up. But yeah, the show is incredible. Definitely go along and see that. It's a great record, um, the Arctic Monkeys. So come into their own. Hey, Phil. Keep Thanks, it, Phil. Keep keeping it real, bro. Uh, I'm doing my best, buddy. I'm doing my best. Okay, brother. <laughs> Phil Jamison. <laughs> Thank you, you very mate. much. It's the Grill Team on Triple M. The Triple M Grill Team.